And here at home, the impacts of the attack on Israel are palpable. More than 10,000 San Antonians are Jewish. Many are heartbroken and frustrated. The night team's Daniela Ibarra spoke with several local Jewish leaders today. You join us live in the studio now. What are those leaders, how are they reacting to this? Well, they say this weekend has been incredibly tough, Tim. Today is supposed to be the continuation of a celebratory Jewish holiday. Instead, they're mourning and thinking about what more they can do. Prayers for peace waiting to be answered. It's been heartbreaking. It is incredibly frustrating. Frustrating because Temple Bethel's senior rabbi Mara Nathan is thousands of miles away from Israel. We want to mourn all the folks who have been killed. People have been kidnapped. I mean, it's a really just, it's an atrocious situation. She feels helpless. There's just almost sort of this irrational feeling like you want to run towards the trouble because you hate to just be sitting back and watching it all happen. Watching war unfold has been tough for Nami Iklov, president of the Jewish Federation of San Antonio. It has been an emotional roller coaster. We're in triage mode right now, trying to figure out what needs to be done and how we can take care of it. Tomorrow, Jewish leaders are inviting San Antonians of all faiths to come here to Temple Bethel to pray for the lives lost. There isn't a Jew out there that doesn't want peace. Um, but the challenge is that, that this is not the way to get peace. While San Antonians are rallying in support of Israel, others are backing Palestine. This flyer circulating on social media invited Palestinian supporters to a rally downtown today. To have a rally to support those kinds of behaviors to me is inexplicable. It seems just like a never ending horrible situation where Calm and thoughtful people can't find a solution that will help the majority of the population on all sides. A solution to the violence is what many at Temple Bethel will continue to pray for. Be here to support um, not just the people of Israel and the state of Israel, but the Jewish community. And I think also just a general sense that all human beings deserve to be safe and secure in their own homes. And with the conflict in Israel, there are concerns of anti-Semitic attacks. Last year, the Anti-Defamation League says anti-Semitism went up nearly 40 percent nationwide. Both Jewish leaders here in San Antonio tell me law enforcement have been in contact with them. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.